Woody's Christmas Roundup, Part 3 Looking Back on Things, as Woody generally did these days as he sat alone in his toy box, teaming up with lots so patient spare was a huge mistake. So huge, in fact, it was extraordinary to think nobody had said anything at the time, or at least nobody he had wanted to listen to. Maybe Puffasaurus Rex and a few of his other former friends had raised an eyebrow, but not Spaceman and certainly not Woody himself. They had thought Lotso Patience Bear was a great idea, a giant, cuddly teddy bear that smelt of strawberries and had an inbuilt promise of patience? Who wouldn't want a toy like that? And indeed, for a while, everybody had felt the same. They poured so much love into Lotso that Woody and Spaceman almost didn't know what to do with it, though, to be fair, they gave it a jolly good go. But then disaster struck as it turned out Lot so patient spare wasn't quite what everybody had thought he was. He was mean, he had zero patience and, whatever he smelt of it, it definitely wasn't strawberries. All things considered, Woody reckoned, it had been a very bad experience for him, in fact, wasn't it around this time Big Baby had turned on him? It felt a Big Baby to ensure every toy behaved himself, herself or itself, and she was ruthless. Not only was she very big, she was also very scary looking, largely on account of the one eye that was perpetually stuck looking backwards. Still, what Woody had found was, if you knew how to deal with her, Big Baby wasn't nearly so scary as she looked. Dot in those first few years, when the love was pouring in, Big Baby could not have been nicer and it was only when things started going wrong and people started taking their love elsewhere, particularly that horrid toy shop in Kent, that she became distinctly unfriendly. In fact, Woody suddenly realized, when things start to go wrong, everybody can become distinctly unfriendly. It was as if all the love dried up. So not only did Big Baby stop loving him, all the toy testers stopped. All the toy sellers stopped. All the toy catalogs stopped, even the Bristol toy barn although, to be fair, they kept on loving him the longest. Even the little green men stopped pouring their love his way, though that was less of an issue once he removed their get-out claws. For their own good. Of course. Worst of all, all his friends turned against him, Jeffy, Puffasaurus Rex, even Linky the ACD, anatomically curious dog, whose role in all this was so confusing the awful pig thought it was safer to leave him out of his awful Hammerama program as his viewers would never understand. Even Bullseye, his beloved horse, had refused to let him ride him because of all the strange new equipment he'd started wearing. Why had he ever listened to Spaceman on that? gradually dumping his tried and tested cowboy hat and boots, his belt and his six-shooter. Hi for more on this story, visit the news article link.